Welcome back to another Tech Deck Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on the Samsung S7 11 inch tablet. So this video will be demonstrating the tutorial and step necessary in order to do a successful repair in terms of LCD, battery, charging port replacement, etc. So please stick around and let's get back to the video. So the first thing you're gonna need for uh, this type of repair is to like have the proper tools. So I highly recommend you use a curved screen disassembler. They're very efficient, not too rigid, flexible, and should give you the right amount of pressure for you to start lifting the screen. Uh, although exercise caution because these seem to like slightly scrap the coating. So you don't wanna use it too much or too little. Just try to apply a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in between and make sure that during the process, if necessary, add some extra tool at your own leisure to make the process easier. Plastic cards are recommended, but like I like to just go slow and steady with the curved screen disassembler. So as you go your way around the tablet, you want to be very delicate with these. Oh, and also, if you want, you can always add this uh, frame glue remover. <clears throat> They're very efficient. You can mix it up with a little bit of alcohol and it does help with the job of the extracting screen. So once you feel that the screen disassembler goes a little bit deeper, that means like you're in the right spot. Patience is the key, so you want to be careful with this. This comes handy because like sometimes the customer comes only to change the battery. So it's always good to practice the safer method to make sure that if you just want to change the battery, you know the risks, how to take them in order not to crack the screen. So that would be the best way to approach it. You can always add a suction cup holder just in case. some resistance by the bottom so make sure you scrap off all the residue before like opening the screen a little isopropyl alcohol and always switch position to help with the extraction So before you open, make sure to see which side the ribbon cables connecting the LCD flex connection and the, and the main board connection by simply sneak peeking a bit. So we can see here, it's by the top camera and you can always open it like a book. However, make sure you disconnect first this right here where sits the main board flex connection. So we're simply going to use a tweezer. Slightly lift up that connection right here. Comes the flex. All right. So once it's done, we're going to move on with the extraction of all the other components. So as you can see, this is the LCD connection linking the signal input for the LCD. And you can see also in the LCD, there is like a dotted board where it sits the Wacom LCD flex ribbon cable. So we won't need, we won't be needing to worry about this for now, but some screen also do not come with this flex cable. So it's very imperative to know how to like transfer it. So this could be featured in another video on how to replace a screen for a seven 11 inch tablet. So moving on, we need to take care of all the flip screws sitting between the main PBA sub PBA. <clears throat> this is called the mid frame bezel and we need to extract all the screw. And the good thing about Samsung, they keep it uniform. So they always rely on only one set of screw. Sometimes you can use the tweezer to remove the screws because screwdriver usually tend to magnetize and demagnetize quite faster than you may think. Thank you. 
Then we're gonna move on by removing the screws from the charging port. Might as well take care of them right now since there is no cover that sits above it. And obviously <coughs> those screws, they're like bigger than the one holding the mid frame bezel. So make sure you got them all before removing anything else. They're kind of tricky because sometimes Samsung, they usually put anywhere between um, 30 to 40 screws. Okay, so there's still one here. They're kind of like tricky to spot, so make sure you get them all. Because what happens is that if you even forget one and you try to remove the mid-frame bezel, there is a high risk you're gonna cause damage. So delicacy and precaution are keys for this type of tablet repairs. <coughs> so here, here goes another one. This is right next to the tweezer. And there is also some hidden because like there's like some leftover debris or uh, adhesive. So always check all the edge of the frame and make sure you get them all. Okay, and check in, good. So we got them all and lastly is the screw holding the main PBA. Make sure like whenever you want to extract something, you use a plastic spudger. The tweezer, like you can try to work with it here and there, but make sure there's no contact because they tend to like short some capacitor or transistor. So if you want to remove something and needs like a little bit of extra precaution, the tweezer is a welcomed idea. Yep, that's what I said, like always good to double check. So, there was a hidden one here. Always remove all the adhesive. Make sure we didn't get any ones. Seems like it's okay. All right, perfect. So there goes the first part that comes out. Or the second part if you count the LCD. So now, key thing, first thing you wanna do is disconnect the battery. And if necessary, this is like an old trick, you wanna press the power button to make sure that the entire board and device aligns with like the discharge. So there's no electrostatic discharge and you're free to continue with the repair without causing any damage like short circuits. After disconnecting the battery, we're gonna disconnect what seems to be the connection holding the magnets of the pencil or the pen. Then we're gonna move on by disconnecting the main board flex, connecting the main PBA to the sub PBA. And the LCD connection is actually one separate part that comes out and reattach to the LCD. Uh, some of the replacement parts uh, do come with it and sometimes they do they don't come with. And by the way, if, if you're looking for any parts or tools, check out the links below. Also, we have like replacement parts, uh, like the LCD flex connection, and we offer mail-in repair service as well as data recovery service at tech.com. Please support the business. Thank you. So this is connected to actually <clears throat> the sub PBA, but there is like two screws we need to take care of before removing the charging board. There you go, it comes out easily. Then if you have problems with the SIM card reading or like network option, it's not reading the SIM card. This is an interchangeable part, which means it disconnects from the main PBA and it's replaceable. I'm gonna remove the SIM tray. Okay. Moving on, we're gonna disconnect the front camera. Those are very easy to replace. Rarely you would find any issues with them, but the parts, they're really cheap and we offer them in our website. This is the rear camera system. It comes with like two flex cable. I'm gonna disconnect them. Then you can start by removing one portion of the loudspeaker. So, 
to like get access to the rear camera, we're gonna start by taking care of the main PBA. So for this, that there is no adhesive that sits beneath it, but there is a coaxial link in it to here. By the way, you guys can let us know exactly what part is responsible for this one, but we suspect it is part of the NFC <coughs> antenna system. All right, here comes the battery and is attached the loudspeaker. You can simply pry it gently. Do not cause too much pressure. There you go. So it's connected. And here goes the main PBA of the <coughs> Samsung a 711 inch tablet so in case of you have a motherboard issue or like liquid damage and like the cost of repair is like very higher than to fix the motherboard and to replace it so it's always a good idea to have it as a last resort okay moving on now we're gonna take care of the rear camera system there's a slight tension because there is adhesive that sits beneath it so you want to apply a little bit of force here is the camera so all that is left now is the speaker system three units left as well as the battery so when it comes to the battery the best way to approach it is to just apply isopropyl alcohol beneath it and set the temperature again so you can warm up the mat Okay, using the plastic spudger, we're going to start by removing all three loudspeakers. So you just have to be mindful for the little ribbon right here. These come pretty easy. Whenever you have some problem with like audio system and you're not hearing the sound correctly or a little bit muffled, it would be a good idea to replace those in pairs or like all the system together. Never replace only one, just to make sure that you can ID which one is not working well. Usually it comes in two. So here comes the buzzer for the vibrator. This part, you don't really need to remove it. Usually like if you have issues with the vibrator, like it comes with it if you order a housing and we have this type of parts with it so like it's not necessary to always remove that part rarely encounter types of problems unlike the taptic engine of apple which usually has a lot of problems and is a highly requested uh, replaceable part for most of the time moving on now we're gonna attempt to extract the battery so when it comes to this uh, it's really recommended that you use a concave tip uh, prying tool the reason why we want to make sure it's concave so like it doesn't puncture the battery and it has a progressive lift so after it's warm enough it should start peeling up quite easy just go around it and poke instead of like applying a lot of pressure you don't want to bend it too much you don't want to bend it too little it has to be like in between and if you're like a little bit skeptical, use the other side just to make sure it doesn't puncture. You never know, like the tip could puncture it or deform the battery just a little bit. Keep a steady hand. There you go. It should come off easy. Okay. So all you have left is the housing with the buzzer. This is like for the Apple Pencil magnetic connection and the volume and power button. And with this, that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys for sticking by. Leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. Again, if you saw any parts, replacement LCD battery that you need in this video, don't hesitate to check us out at tech.com or click the link below for mail-in repairs as well as data recovery service. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.